the flashy product in a might be in a plain box basically there's uh, one of those little uh, electric timer things for uh, turning things on and off it's something I bought on eBay and so like something that's uh, like with uh, cost of living especially with the electricity bill so it's uh, I think it'd be a good idea to do something like that so because uh, with uh, Christmas and all I've got the lights up at the front and uh, yeah it's uh, so I like to turn it off when, <laughs> when it's appropriate especially when I'm going to be away over Christmas yeah. do, 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 do. what's this I hope it's the instruction manual. This is the instruction manual. <laughs> Yay! And the product. Yeah, it's all like a digital, this thing. So, yeah, there's nothing in the way of like analog type things that we do, so. Well, it's a 240 volt, 50 hertz version, the 10 amps, 2400 watt, setting time one minute. It comes with a backup battery too. That's good. Let's uh, so get the clock rocking on this thing. It says 209 p.m. <laughs> Clock. Yeah, 209 p.m. when it's around 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, Monday is Tuesday. Might take a little bit of time to uh, set up. We might need to uh, probably set it up when I've got it plugged in over in the corner there. Oh, shows the battery's working. <laughs> All right, well, still yet to go to hang up those Christmas lights and everything else like that. I'm going to do that this afternoon when I'm recording this. And, uh, yeah, so I'll uh, come back to it later, hopefully. If it doesn't storm and rain and everything else like that, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> uh, since I know how it works, and uh, hey, I'll be on the camera. So it's uh, better to just do a bit of a thing to show a bit of guidance and uh, how to set it up and stuff like that. So, first things first, or when you receive it and plug it in, uh, you know, show up a time and stuff like that is you know, pretty much uh, factory settings. So, like, you have to do a reset. So, pretty much here, you'll see a reset with a hole on it. And you just use a pin to press it and hold it for about five seconds and you'll see it all change up. Then you'll get to go and start using the clock. Well, so pretty much you'll just do a thing of press and hold the clock. You do the week. That will uh, that will change the day on it and stuff like that. Then you know hour. It goes by the twenty-four hour clock. You know minute. The other thing there is uh, like reset and re recall type type thing for uh, the timer. And once you've got the t clock set, and of course, you know, the guy with the clock, then go to timer. You see if I press the timer, it'll still like, hopefully, it'll come through okay. It is. And um, you see here is the like a selection of uh, days across the top. As you'll like, if you see, look at the instruction manual, it's still like a whole heap of different settings. 
and whatnot. And you see I've got it all set up for seven days, each seven days. And then over here you probably see here one and not and on. It's all that indicates of when you want it on. Oh, I'll say it's time limited. But it's um, one and on and you go and set the, you know, what day of the week and stuff like that. Uh, you know, hour, minute. And once you press a timer again, you'll see here it'll turn, so what, beside the one it will show off and then you set the time of when you want it to turn, at what time you want it turned off. You don't have to change it off the top with the uh, the week type side of things, just an hour and minute. Now, for me, I'll just hit it again, just to show you can have it like a setting, second setting, stuff like that. But uh, I'll just, well, for the simple words, I don't need it. So if you see the clock, just go back to the clock. Now, you'll probably see it be already set up on auto, but if you press the uh, on auto off, it was do automatic turn on and turn off. And, you know, it does a random as well as sort of like do a, like a security thing of a night time. So it'll, um, <clears throat> at random times, turn something like a light on or something like that, a bedside light, just to make it look like someone's home. And, uh, yeah, it also has like daylight savings settings as well somewhere i don't really worry about it because thanks for thanks for the train uh, i'll uh don't have daylight savings with where i live oh on up and running I see a little blue light hopefully that far away it's in the case that it's up and operational and everything else like that or got the appliances plugged into operational but uh, yeah it's dark enough for the lights to come on and stuff like that you probably see across the edge of the window and all that see if they were flashing from that, that uh, Christmas tree and whatnot, and uh, yeah, I've pretty much got it. So I've got something for the, you know, like I mentioned, Christmas tree and uh, uh, Santa's sleigh. So uh, you know, I've got videos for them too. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. Seemed to work pretty well and all that. And uh, yeah, might take a little bit of getting used to, especially getting it all set up. So hopefully I explain it pretty well. So yeah. I'll leave the description down below for it or you know link to it on eBay and uh see the subscribing down below and until next time. Have a good one.